So everybody that hopped on the first edition, they sold out damn near instantly. Uh, Frank said, we got a back door and drop another cereal, man. He said, this time, let's hit them with the chocolate, with the marshmallow. But you know what, but before we get into that right there, I, I want to I talk about something really, uh, really near and dear to my heart. Uh -oh. And uh, near and dear to a lot of people's hearts, Which is? Uh, especially Chingo Bling. Snacks. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the sad thing is, man, that the Lechusa uh, population is, 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 you know, Dang. is down right now. Yeah, you know uh, why, man? Because them windmills, bro. You know the big ass windmills? <laughs> they be putting them in neighborhoods that got Lechusas, and then it creates a, a vortex and it sucks in bats. Mm -hmm. It be hitting the Lechusas and shit. Yeah, and you know, at the same time too, a lot of people are coming over the, uh, over the border that look like Lechusas and they're scaring off the real ones. And so we want to bring back the Lechusas. So this episode is, is sponsored by the Lechusa uh, Preservation Society Foundation Organization, yeah. GroupLLC.com. Yeah, this show is actually brought to you by and sponsored by uh, the Chupacabra Foundation. <laughs> oh, we got to save um, them too. Did y'all know that Dr. Fauci was doing experiments on the Chupacabras? I mean, poor Chupacabras. Shit. And that's why I say this thing is near and dear to my heart. They deserve to, to run dear. free and eat these goats. Near and dear, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, a rapper, you know? It's the circle of life, man. Some of y'all be think y'all some of y'all uh, some of y'all are speciesist. Oh species. Like y'all be y'all be favoring goats over uh over chupacabras. Y'all be taking the goat side, but y'all don't be seeing how it's a false narrative. Like the goats were made delicious by God. God don't make mistakes. Goats are delicious for a reason. They put bro. them there for me and you. They they from this earth. It's just, Friday and you ain't got shit to do. They put they put ghosts on this earth just like the marijuana plant. You know what I'm saying? Just 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 like uh, you know the, the goat of this snack box shit. God put it. God put the goats here for us. You know what I'm saying? To admire. You know what I'm saying? And if the, you know and, and, and aspire to be goats. <laughs> Somebody in the comments give us an update on the Astros, please. What inning? What's the score? You are the goat, You're sir. Gonna with that tax credit. <laughs> give us some tax credit. And some of y'all need y'all's uh, taxes done. You look, like, up. you look like you do taxes. Hey, I look like I represent people with fender benders in court. Okay, <laughs> as y'all can see, we have El Martillo Mexicano. Martillo. El Abogado Perro. <laughs> <laughs> that, hey, we need to do your insurance commercial yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. yo, me, yo me accidenté en un accidente. <laughs> y, iba manejando y salió una vieja bien mamazota. Dije a la madre. Y me encandilé, güey. Y era un four car pile up. Y por seis meses tuve que usar el pinche neck brace. Pero el abogado perro Facts. me dio la recompensa. Todo and, mi dinero. And I made you a snack box. Not only, do, not only do I fight for my clients, I get them snack boxes with goddamn sugar cookies in them. All right, y'all. Here's the but word. But ain't nothing sweet. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't nothing sweet in this game. Think it's sweet. Okay, so the chingo de churros lim limited edition. Speak English, please. <laughs> That's what he said. No te entendieron, güey. Are you talking about me? Jesse... Niet what is that? Nieto. Nieto. Oh, I'm sorry, Nieto. I'm Nieto. I don't know. Uh, it's America. Speak English, all right? You see the red tie. Sir, I am triggered and offended <laughs> by your red tie. It's America. <laughs> I'm American. Bitch, I'm American. Uh, yo, I'm about to drop a song called Let's Go Brandon, the Cumbia edition. Mm. FYI. <clears throat> so here's the word of the day, y'all. Malaviscos is how you say marshmallows in Spanish. Uh, the fans want to know, are you going to drop a Houston Astros anthem? What's going on with this? I don't want to jinx them. In Spanish. Uh, well, so, you know what it could be? Like, Altuve. Like, y'all got to win, though, man. Y'all got to at least win this game. Five mess oh, around. down. Uh, five to one, Braves up, bottom six. So we scored. All right, we scored one. You know, it, it's still early. It's bottom of the six. Mm, it's like prom. It's still early. You know what I'm talking about? Ain't no need to jump to conclusions. Mm -hmm. So, um... So before I came over here, man, I was actually craving some of this Made in America Crazy Maze. Oh, yeah. Made in America. Are they Houston? Where are they from? San uh, yeah, so uh, Crazy Maze is out of Austin, Texas. How, how does it feel to be helping out, like bullshit aside, like, you know, jokes aside, how does it feel to be help, helping these businesses, especially these businesses that are owned by people that look like you, and you're creating a platform to be able to put them out there, you know what I'm saying, Crazy Maze. And oh, there's a lot more. We can get to it. Prima, primos, Michelada. Oh, yeah, we, we can get to it right now. For one, it's quality. Ooh, shout out, especially that. Shout out to my boy Joey from Victoria, Texas. Um, he, first of all, bro, he's been slanging jerky out the trunk. He even got, he even got jerky salesmen. Sure, we got a lot in common, man. Bro, he got jerky salesmen. 
Oh shit, bro! It, it, I, he got people that be having a re up with him, and they slang at their job. I've been knowing Joey since he was slanging jerky out of Ziploc bags, bro. And I was, I would always tell him like, "Hey man, when you gonna go legit and get the proper packaging?" Hey man, not only does he have proper packaging and everything, but, but there you go. We gotta clap for that. But this is his sample size packaging. Mm -hmm. This ain't even his. This ain't even his actual, bro. You get such a variety of stuff in this box. Look, um, Br Br Brandy Perez says, Shop Texas. Motherfucking right. Hey. Shop Texas. Buy American, hire American, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like like that boy Hulk Hogan said. You know why we having these, um, uh, what you call that shit, man? Uh, what is this uh, crisis we having where the shelves are empty and the shipping? What is it called? What is it mm -hmm. called? Supply chain. C can I say something uh, that, that just kind of uh, reminded me of something? You, uh, you know why I don't trip? Uh, First of all, you know why we're appreciative of the real fans? We're appreciative of the real fans because they're down no matter what. And I'll tell you why. Because everybody that's like that's ever been famous has always had a, a moment where they love you, they hate you, and then they love you again. And uh, oh, yeah. Go and if you remember Hulk Hogan, uh, when, he, when he turned into a bad guy, he was Hollywood Hogan, and he would always wear black. You know what I'm saying? And that's when he would say all kind of crazy shit. You know what I'm talking about? And, and, and he was just the bad guy. And then and then one day he became the good guy again. So check this out. Yeah, when Brandon keep fucking up, I'm going to be the fucking hero <laughs> of, of the village. They're going to be like, Este güey sabía, güey. Como sabías, güey. Que este güey no valía madre. Anyway, um, check this out. Supply chain crisis, brother. These are American-made michilada mixes. When you manufacture... On American soil, your supply chain is on American soil. When you offshore your supply chain and your manufacturing, that's why you're having these headaches. But guess what? Ain't no jerky shortage. No talking about because Brother Earl's hey. is made right here in Texas. And we got those Texas cows. Ain't no michelada shortage right now because these boys are pumping it out of Houston. Primo's michelada. Well, keep that salt on us. <laughs> uh, ain't no chocolate mazapan uh, shortage. Actually, there might be. But this probably comes from Mexico. Mm -hmm. You know, but cartels controlling the, the Mazapan game. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Come on now, sometimes you be thinking it's Mazapan in hey, that truck, really? bro, and it'll be Mazapan. The cartels cornering the peanut market to take over the Mazapan game. They already took over the aguacate game. Oh, shit. In, um, in Michoacan. Damn. Man, y'all better hop on them tutorials on YouTube, I mean, them documentaries, and go down that rabbit hole. Mm hmm. Well, look, uh, uh, real quick, so while we're watching, so if you want to win one of these snack boxes right here, you can enter into a raffle that we're going to raffle off uh, here in a few minutes. Uh, and we're giving people the opportunity to tune in and be able to, you know, enter and all that. All you got to do is send $1 to the Cash App that's on the screen. It's right there. Yeah, right there. Right here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. On the screen right It's going to go to the Lechusa Preservation Society. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because these are. Uh, care, you know? Because these windmill turbines, they put them in Lechusa neighborhoods. And Lechusa lies matter. You know, I, I, I really do think, you know, uh, that Lechusas have taken a bad rap. Matter of fact, let me real quick. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I wish this thing would do as low sound effects. I really do feel bad for the Lechusa community. It's very overlooked. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, I know they're ugly, but they serve a purpose. What it is, I don't know. But, you know. Lechusa. You know, you know, Lechusa power is Ain't real. a Lechusa an owl? Or are you talking about the shape shift? No, Lechusa? I'm talking about the owls. Oh, actual owls. Yeah, the actual okay. owls. Okay. okay. Well, I guess the, the, the big ass... Uh, magical owls out there that that the that, shape shifting one. Uh, oh yeah, the, I guess so. Yeah, the and, shape shifting. Sue said the cash app ain't working for him. <laughs> Look, man, Frank is. Well, shit, you gonna have to. Frank is doing tech support right your now. Your cash app? No, it's working because I. I let me see. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all what my prediction is. It's, how it's, long? It's working, buddy. How long till till Kamala takes over? Uh, shout out to uh, Lorena. Shout out to Amy, Christopher. Uh, Gotti, Luke. One of y'all is going to win. One of y'all is going to win for sure. One of y'all is going to win. Mm -hmm. in, in the meantime, we're placing wagers to see how many months until Kamala takes over. Um, I think they're, I think she's definitely going to take over. I don't think he's going to make it all the way Do through. Do you want to run for president? Hell no. Nah. Why? Why don't you want to run for president? You might as well. Well, Congress, for, some, some, something, something. Well, yeah, no. Well, President. Yeah, you can take uh, yeah, check this out. I want to shout out my homeboy, man. <laughs> uh, he always told me I was going to be president. Mm -hmm. um, well, for one, bro, they're going to create all kind of false narratives and make you look crazy. You know what I'm saying? They're mm -hmm. going to just, the media is powerful. So they'll just like hypnotize people and brainwash them into, <coughs> into like, you see, Frank, 
You see how he coughed right there? You know what I mean? Create a whole false narrative around you and be like, I don't know, man. Frank sure was sneezing a lot. You know, you tell me. I mean, the, the, he knew a lot. Of, he knew a lot about the Masapanes. <coughs> Sorry. He knew a whole lot about the Masapan. Talking about. He took out the whole lechuza game with one cough. You know, it's been really tough with uh, Corona out here. You know, shout out to all the people in the valley. Uh, trauma is down from these things, but you know, trauma from these things it's good because it helps you grow up. And, and respect the things around you, you know, so shout out to the Lechuzas out there, you know, uh, I mean, if you really you think said about it. You said Corona was traumatizing for Lechuzas. Uh, th that too, you know, they're, they're going through it, you know, I mean, Lechuzas are real people too, you know, they get sick, you know, uh, I mean, right. they don't have vaccine access, you know what I'm saying? I mean. Well, they got it good then, they're not forcing it. What is that shit called? I what is it? What is it? I Ivermectin. And so what I'm saying is we want to raise funds to get them access to, to some what? What is that? Again? Ivermectin. Yeah, we, we want to raise funds to Bro, really you know, get these funds to let you You know we're on Mark Zuckerberg's playground, uh, private uh, private company, and everything we just said triggered the artificial <laughs> intelligence. It was like, they're saying the words that we don't like. <laughs> this is about it's to be shut down. Se está cortando, se está cortando. <laughs> oh, they're coming through the window. <laughs> yeah, art artificial oh, intelligence. Man. Artificial intelligence <laughs> run out like this, like... He asking. He he knows Kamala finna take over. <laughs> Bro, I got a bulletproof ass under here. But hey, there's a lot of windows on this side of this building. But look, check this out. Did you see how Saturday Night Live made fun of uh, Biden? I uh, didn't. Bro, they went in on Brandon. Bro, they wrote, they said he ain't had no uh, no energy. He wasn't alert. That he wasn't his old self. They said nobody watched his town hall. SNL went in so much, I started feeling bad for him, and that's how I know. Team Kamala been making them calls behind the scenes, like, hey man, start getting the public ready, start priming them, start setting the table, let them know it's finna be a new regime. We gotta take these peanuts back so we can corner the Masapan game. And we can be in Squid Games. <laughs> you know uh, uh, and and uh, show them what else is in this box. Uh, and don't forget that if even if you don't win, we still have them on the Snackbox.club website. And, and uh, I think they release at 4 a.m., if I'm mistaken. Uh, but these things are ready to ship out. All the pre-orders are already boxed up, as you can see. Uh, and they're going to be sent to the, you know, to, to, to the mail. So um, get them before the price uh, increases, you know, because after tomorrow, they're going to go up uh, to, because uh, they're 50 bucks right now. But you get all of this and the cereal <laughs> and the sugar cookie for Halloween uh, and, you know, all this candy. Uh, so if you... Uh, don't go trick or treating. At least you have something to give those kids. Actually, some of these snacks are healthy for the kids, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie. If you did, you know what? Crazy Maze. I think he just gave y'all a million dollar idea. Um, okay. Y'all should. Y'all should definitely try to like go hard next year for Halloween as as a as a snack. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. this is healthy, bro. This is like pretty unprocessed corn uh, snack. Like. When you eat Cheetos and Fritos and, and, and all that Takis type shit, mm -hmm. no offense, but it's a whole bunch of fucking chemicals in that shit, and uh, it's pretty fucking processed. Yeah. Like, yeah, you eating prison food. You're giving your kids prison food. But when you give them this, this is cutting edge. This is hot. Cutting edge. edge. This is, this is, this, this is. This is corn this is, technology. This is like. AI. This, <laughs> this is, was made with AI. No, you know what this is? This is like, oh my god, I love Crazy Maze. When we go out for brunch, order the Crazy Maze. It's so organic. This is some farmer's market shit, bro. This straight up some farmer's market shit. They should definitely, when you say Halloween, I know they saw my expression. I was like, yo, real talk? Can you imagine? Up, Luke. Can you imagine somebody put a little beef jerky in your Halloween basket? <laughs> can you imagine somebody put a little jerky in your life? A little bit of jerky. A you, little bit of jerky. Just it, just a smidgen of jerky. Just a little. All across your, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> across your basket. On your grill. Ladies, when you over there dressing like a sexy cop and a sexy nurse, don't you want your 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 man to you know what I'm saying come through with the jerky and just slap it across your basket? Is it possible to dress up like a sexy snitch for Halloween? First 48, like a little thick broad on First 48, like she was at the strip club, but she witnessed some shit. Like, all right, I was there. So it, it'll be a stripper outfit with a box of chicken. And it'll be like, what are you? A hungry stripper? No, I'm, I'm a stripper on First 48, and I just told. So they brought me some chicken. <laughs> with a box of chicken. <laughs> Spicy ass chicken, boy. That's my Can you imagine getting some Michelada mix? Bro, this edition number two dropped at the perfect time for Halloween. 
That's true. Like, you literally could hook up your neighborhood kids. Um, but it's a it's a collector's item more than anything. You know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, someone says, "Where the tortillas at? Uh, tamales at? Where the tamales at with the snack pack? With the snack box? That, what, do you think that shit would have been fun if you would have thrown some tortillas in there?" Um, <laughs> it depends, man. Because how are you how are you shipping tortillas? Yeah, in Chinky a box? Garcia. What kind of common is that? You'd have to package real them creative, like, buddy. That's why they, kids don't be trick or treating. But can you imagine? Kid get a masa pan. A kid get a Michelada mix. Mm -hmm. A kid get some Lucas. I'm, I'm gonna say something real quick to uh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. Uh, he said he's gonna buy one anyway. <clears throat> but uh, uh, Jesus, like I said, uh, uh, the cool thing is that yes, this is a snack box. That's cool. You get the candy. That's cool. Chingo Bling is part of it. That's cool. Ch yeah. Chingo Bling's jerky. You, you get jerky. Nah, it's brother Earl's. Uh, you get the cereal. That's cool, but like I said, Bro, the, they most get the, Halloween <clears throat> the most important thing is this right here. What is, oh, there it is. Uh, and, and this right here is, <clears throat> the, the, the cool thing is, they have promo codes that they made for y'all. When you buy the snack box, you're able to use the, these promo codes. So if you like the stuff in it and you want to buy more direct, you can use these promo codes on the website and you can get a discount on there and you can buy more. And that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's the cool thing because, like... You know, it's 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 an advantage to put your business online, and if you're able to find ways to like promote, advertise yourself, and bring people to your website, you know, you, you help these businesses make more money because when you put them at the store, you got to sell them. You know, at wholesale means you got to sell the shit at half price so the store can make money. And so in this case, you know, Chingo Bling uh, is you know is. Um, Telling you the future. Has paved the way. Cause yo, yo, these brands are gonna blow up. Like you might not have heard of Brother Earl's jerky yet. Mm -hmm. But once the, bro, if they get in Bucky's, this some good ass jerky. If mm -hmm. they put this in Bucky's, man, I'm gonna be like, Joey, let me hold a hundred thousand till till next Tuesday. And, and you uh you, you want uh some some real shit, right? Some real shit. What if mm -hmm. what if what if hypothetically just saying, okay, what's the probability? Let's say this snack box was was like an album. Okay, okay. it's the album. And Chingo Bling is the artist. I'm the artist. Okay, you're featuring these businesses in your yeah, snack these box. These are the features. Okay, your snack box goes platinum. Boom, track seven. Boom, now these businesses got exposure, right? Now we need now, a music video. Now, 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 so I'm thinking, hmm, like, it's almost like when you see artists, like, what if you do a deal with these businesses to, to get them even more distribution? So now it's like you're signing artists. Oh, you're talking about getting a piece yeah, coming you know up with, with uh, these businesses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to, yeah. to distribute them and put it out there because, you know, if, if, if this shit pops and they're starting to get oh. orders, shit. Yo, in all honesty, if some, that's actually like a, a, a potential position for somebody. Like whoever's willing to put in the work, like say somebody hypothetically was like, hey man, I like your jerky, uh, let's work a deal. Or, or hey man, your primo's michelada mix and I heard you won at Chingo Fest when we did Chingo de Mayo mm -hmm. and this was the winner. But they got their shit together. Like, their packaging is amazing. They're super legit. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's consistent. It's not it's like practical. It's, it's not practical. like made at home. It's not made at home. Yeah, this this is very practical. It's size. like practical, professional. Like it's bloop bloop boop boop. That's it. You could be at the Astros game. Bloop bloop. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I like about it. I mean that that's cool. So boop, boop. so I mean, but think about that though, right? Let's say you went out there did a, a let's say you went out there and did a record deal uh, out there with a company. Boom, you about to drop a music album. Uh -huh. And then you can turn around and be like, yo, Primos, check this out. Let's do this. Uh, you know, uh, let's do a deal where you can make me a, a Chingo Blink flavor uh, with Primos. And, and you know, I just got this deal so then I can really put my face on it and then we can get distribution. You know? Okay, so so that idea. Shout out to Primos. That idea coupled with, with the idea of, like, if somebody were willing to put in the work, this, this is actually a lot of grassroots, like, Back in the day in the music business, you used to have a store list, right? We'd be like, yo, like for example, my boy um, from Dallas, man, with a, with a DSR Records, my boy George. Shut up. My boy George out there, he was distributing like, like a motherfucker, bro. So imagine if you were the, like the middleman, in a way, mm -hmm. where you were able to go to tra uh, Trader's Village, and you had all the puritas in San Antonio, all the uh, flea markets in, um, in Austin, all the swap meets in Dallas, the mm -hmm. bazaar, so on and so forth. And you were the dude that went to replenish, like, like, oh, there's a little snack stand at the fleet. But hey, you know, hey, what y'all? I got a case of Crazy Maze. 
I got a case of Primos Michelada. I got a case of Brother Earl. Mm -hmm. uh, they're allowed to sell. Oh, are they allowed to sell food at a flea market? Or you got to yeah. be the concession person? Oh, you could be a vendor and sell your shit. But if you're a vendor and you slang in like Texas brands, these are all local Texas brands. And um, you could come taste test a Michelada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these mean, are actually winning common. You snack on these while you sipping a michelada, and then put a brother Earl beef jerky on your michelada. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. They, what? They, yeah, or or even if you drop uh, like something that would even complement these items, then you could go and do a deal with them. Like let's say you did a beer deal. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like like chingo bling on the beer. Hey, do me a chingo bling primos michelada flavor. And you pair them together, that would be the shit. What? And they'd both be Texas? What if you could package it along the Texas beer? Like Chingo Bling collab with a with a with a Texas craft brew. Which i am already talking to um a couple uh craft breweries that are able to do a collab mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But imagine if the primos came attached to the can already. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's some that's some marketing right there. Like but a collector's item. Yeah, the only thing is when you put it in the fridge, it's like, man, our shit ain't made to have a thing sticking out. You know what I mean? If it's taped, <laughs> well, if it's in if it's in its own special box, you know how they sell liquor bottles with the cups. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe it'll come with the cup, and, and then they can have some foam thing boop, yep. inside the little cup. You know what, man? I, I bro, I thought I brought a wine. Did you see me have a wine in my hand when no. I was pulled up? Either I left the wine in the Uber. Oh shit. Or I left it at home. But I might have left the wine in the Uber. He was telling me some crazy stories, bro. Shit. Uber. Yeah. The, the great thing is that these businesses, they look like you, they're in Texas, and they, uh, and, and they support you, and so we're supporting each other. And they're going to blow up. These, la these brands are going to blow up. Like, th these people, they're already legit. You know what I'm saying? They got their formula down. This one right here is actually tamarindo flavor. Uh, they got their Shout formula. Shout out Steven. Steven. Steven from Primo. McCormick. Steven from Primos? I'm not sure. Is it Steven oh, okay. from Primos? He says, thank you. So, so I just cash up a ticket. Yes, Steven. All you got to do is send a dollar uh, to the, the cash app right here. Send one dollar and you're entered into the raffle. And we're going to go ahead and pick two winners at random. Oh, this motherfucker heavy. Mm -hmm. Shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like a boombox, too. I mean, that's why the triceps hidden. You know what I'm saying? Because it's heavy. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the triceps hey. hidden. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You know what I'm saying? Not only are we giving you fitness... We're giving you snacks, uh, you know, and, and that way you can burn off the calories before. You, you know? finna fit in these snacks. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? And of course. This is like this is like Vice on QVC happening right now. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and don't forget, we dropped the snack box earlier this year, and it was the cinnamon version, and that motherfucker went. Yup. Like Maybe. Obama phones. Cinnamon, like Canelo. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker came with some. The, even the wrapping paper had freckles on it. The cash app tag is right here. Uh, Jaime Salas, right there. And you're going to get access to promo codes from a, 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 several vendors that are featured in the box. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All kind of shit. Yeah, so uh, Frank Lopez came up with this idea. And I was like, bro, how the hell? Cereal? Really? The wheat game? He, he's, I'm like, the weed game or the wheat game? He's a wheat. Wheat with Slinging a tea. That wheat. You know what I'm saying? And so it's one of those things where it's like, look, you can't, uh, like, hand me that series. Like, like, we can't wait. We've got to create the opportunities. we got to teach these corporations how to treat us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm you, you, you ain't going to, like, handpick us based on what the fuck you want to do. We cannot wait, you know what I'm saying, for them to create, an, a, create a plan, a master plan for us. we got to do it. we got to put, you know, ourselves, you know, looking young as fuck on these no, series. No, I'm talking about we ain't canceled. You know what I'm saying? We running up in General Mills. We cannot wait. Mm-hmm. And, and, and t tell us what's going on right here in the back of this uh, of your cereal box right here. All right, so as you guys know, mm -hmm. back in the day, I don't know what they do these days with the cereals, but back in the day, I think these days cereals are trying to brainwash the kids about pronouns and shit. But anyway, <laughs> when I was growing up, you used to have mazes and games and, like, puzzles and shit. You had it like that too, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because you're younger than me. Mm hmm But, uh... You know, I, I told Frank, I was like, man, let's do a maze. He said, man, I got an idea for the maze. He said, what if we put uh, 45 is in the maze and you got to help him fix the border? Because you got kids in cages right here. You know what I'm saying? You got the meat over here trying to do their job with horses and shit. 
Y'all yeah. done blamed shit on the horses, man. These, these meat, I can't even do their job. We got caravans coming. You know what I'm saying? We America first. This is the this is the freedom box. Mm -hmm. This is the America first box. Here's the thing, like uh, what a lot of people don't know is, um, you know, Cesar Chavez, you know, why was he tripping on, on these immigrants coming over here? He was trying to like set up shop to where, like, them workers that were over here, they spent the the, the Mexican people that were working in them fields, they they were fucking them on the on the pay, and they were like, man, you take what we give you. And he's like, fuck no, we're doing a damn good job. You got people dying out here in this fucking sun. And so he was like, man, we got to go and like leverage like what we're doing because we're important. They're out there hoeing us and they're not giving us what we deserve. So we have to like, we, we got to come together and say, man, fuck you and them crops. And so what well, yeah, he was trying to do a strike, a way to go. Yeah. And so, uh, so, you know, them people that own the crops were like, well, that's cool. I mean, you know, y'all can feel upset. I don't give a fuck how you feel. Well, you're replaceable. You know, uh, that's cool. Uh, Mexicans uh, from over the border, come over here. Show these fucking people. We don't give a fuck about them. You're telling me that the open border policies like that uh, affected working class uh, Latinos, mm -hmm. Mexicans. So you're telling me that open borders... Hey, you know the CEO of Domino's already said we need more immigration. Ain't enough motherfuckers working yeah. slanging these pizzas. Cause think about this, like, like if 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 you work for me, right? And I'm telling you to get out there in the fields and pick that motherfucking fruit. Pick that motherfucking fruit. Pick that goddamn fruit. All right, you fucking. You better get them grapes. We could drink this wine and leave it in the Uber by mistake. What, what, what do you think them people call them people in crops? What, what, what do you think the name? What, what do you think they call it? It's, it's like if I were to be like, all right, listen here, you fucking Mexicans, stop motherfucking crying. I don't give a fuck if you're dying. I don't give a fuck if you're hot. I don't give a fuck Pesticides. if you're dehydrated. I don't give a fuck you if you're dying from cancer. That's cool. Cry tears out there in the field while you work. Shut the fuck up. Go pick that fruit and take this $2 that I'm giving you. What they'll do is they'll be like, right, uh, hey, man, get the Mexicans over here, man. These motherfuckers are acting up. They're, they're starting to try to leverage over here. I'm talking about $2 is not enough. Cry baby motherfuckers over here. Can, can you bring some immigrants over here? You know, cause it replace these motherfuckers tomorrow. But hey, like, you know. and you're not you're not worried about that. And and the thing is, I'm not. We are not worried about it. I'll tell you why we are not worried about it. You know, because here pretty soon we're about to be the majority. You know, and you know what they say: policy is made around the majority. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but the problem is, bro, we don't be we don't be negotiating. We don't we don't we didn't go up in there the way Ice Cube did and say, hey man, here's a contract with Brown America. I need to see what you're going to do for brown businesses and, and the community and this and that. No, Nobody did that for us. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Not Eva Longoria. Nobody went up there and was like, hey, we're going to talk to both parties, both candidates, to see who the fuck we're going to tell everybody to vote for. What do we do? Despacito. Everybody knows who to vote for. Cafecito. Because you brown and, of course, no te aguito. Like, motherfuckers, all, they already knew. Get in line, stay in line. Exactly, and like I said, uh, and it goes back to this. Why is this important? Why is this important? Why is this important? Because it's delicious. Because it's a platform to help businesses that look like us, that are, you know, that, that are here. So you trying to use identity politics? Well, you know, the thing is, you know, <laughs> you want to push your people forward, don't you? I mean, if that's what, you know, that's what y'all be saying. I mean, sometimes. your responsibility is your community, is that correct? But yeah, man, this is like the freedom box right here. We're mm -hmm. just trying to give back, make it, a, it's a cool thing. Uh, only a few left. My fault. And I, I, I forgot to conclude that, and then we're going to the raffle. So again, my fault. The, the conclusion. They're was, like, when when you go raffle? The, the, the conclusion was that this man is just looking out for his people, and so if he's passionate about the shit he says, it's because he just wants the best for his own people, and and that's the bottom line. Yeah, best he for gives all, a fuck, and that's what you get. Best for all of us. Yeah, man. You know, you know, uh, everybody. We just want a strong dollar. I know y'all want the strong economy. Y'all know what's going on right now. So uh, I'm swipe it to drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Don't look at it because they're going to say you cheat. Right, no, no. All right, here we go. Don't look at it. It's anonymous. Yeah, he can't see. All right, so I got to swipe. Okay. Oh, you got to swipe in order? Hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. What you? Well, be careful. Oh, you just sent me. somebody money. Oh, I, I, I clicked on someone's name. All right, I'm going to try to get it. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 you just uh. refunded somebody by mistake. <laughs> just pick one. It is uh, Roberto. Oh, Roberto! The 325 Birdie. Yeah, he won one. Okay, hey, when it, this cash box, Mr. Roberto, when you open up, it's going to smell like freedom. <laughs> you just supported up, you just supported Texas brands. You, you know, you're getting uh, Brother Earl's beef jerky. You yes, get my uh, limited edition. 
Yes, uh, cereal. Of course, te vas a pistear con madre, pinche michelada. I mean, there's a whole bunch of goodies in here. And you get the Sir. promo code. Bang, bang. All right, um, one more winner. Or you can hit a lick and be a hype beast and flip <laughs> it on eBay. All right, here we go. Either way, you winning, bro. All right, there Either way, go. you winning. Like, I'm just swiping. All right, and... Oh, sorry. It look like you're doing some kind of new squid game. Hell yeah. You must hurry up and swipe. Stephanie Gonzalez. Stephanie Gonzalez. Stephanie Stephan Stephan Banana. <laughs> Congratulations, you get a snack box. <laughs> um, Appreciate you. Shout out to Harold Cano. He mm -hmm. says he's trying to come through and he said, let me come make the show extra lit and smoke y'all out right now. Mm -hmm. um, that's the homie. Even though I never actually met him, I, I just met his wife. Um, Harold. That was cool. Harold, normally I would. Actually, you know what, Harold? Um, I think tomorrow I have a studio session. That'd be dope. Because uh, mm -hmm. right now, you know, I got all my daughters at home right now and I got to take. My 13 on the school in the morning. What's that? All my kids. All the daughters, bro. All my little baby girls. Um, <laughs> one's carrying the other. The other one's carrying the other. It's the cutest shit ever. Mm -hmm. My little three month old. She's about to be three months. She's getting big as hell. And um, and we want to teach them these values, man. You know, if you want to start a business, that's why I, I, I be on my 13 year old. Like, look, you know, make sure you prepare yourself with your education. Don't fall for the okie doke. Keep your head on the swivel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're young, start peeping game. Um, you know the rich, the rich, you know rich people. They making sure their kids, kids learn coding. They mm -hmm. sending them to code ninjas like Tommy. After you're not doing soccer.